Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about dividing whole numbers by a fraction. We have a sample problem here. Rosalyn has 45 meters of cloth. She plans to make this cloth into pillowcases. How many pillowcases can she make if one needs 3 fourths meters? Our given 45 meters and 3 fourths meters. Our division sentence is 45 divided by 3 fourths is equal to blank. 45 is our dividend, 3 fourths is our divisor, and the answer is the quotient. In dividing fractions, we follow steps in order for us to arrive at the correct answer. The first step is to copy our dividend, but since our dividend is a whole number, we can change it into a fraction by writing 1 to its denominator. So that's going to be 45 over 1. Next step is to change our divisor to its reciprocal. What is a reciprocal? We just interchange the numerator and denominator. Since we have here 3 fourths, this becomes 4 thirds. The next step is to change the division sign to multiplication sign. Then we can perform multiplication of fractions. Unless if there are some numbers that we can cancel. Yes, we have 45 and 3. What number can we divide both 45 and 3? That's going to be 3. Okay, 45 divided by 3 is equal to 15. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. We're ready to multiply. 15 times 4 is equal to, okay, let's show that. 15 times 4. 5 times 4 is equal to 20. Write 0 here, carry 2 at the top of 1. 1 times 4 is equal to 4 plus 2 is equal to 60. So that gives us 15 times 4 is equal to 60. Then 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Or 60 divided by 1 is equal to 60. And that makes 60 pillowcases. This means that Rosalyn can make 60 pillowcases out from her 45 meters of cloth. And that's it. We're done. We have another example here, 100 divided by 4 twelfths. First step is to copy our dividend, and we can change this whole number to a fraction by writing 1 to its denominator. This will be 100 over 1. Next step is we change our divisor to its reciprocal. So instead of writing 4 twelfths, this becomes 12 over 4. Let's do that. That's 12 over 4. Next is to change our division sign to multiplication sign. Before we go to multiplication, we have to check our fractions if there are numbers that we can still reduce to lowest terms. Take a look at the 12 fourths. We can still reduce that one to lowest terms. What number can we divide both 12 and 4? That's 4. 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3, and 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. Do we still have numbers that we can cancel? I think there's none. Okay, we're ready to multiply. 100 times 3 is equal to 300. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Or 300. Our answer for this question is 300. And that's it. We have another example, 25 divided by 2 and 1 half. For this case, it is better that we have to change our mixed number to an improper fraction so that it's easy for us to follow the steps that we have in dividing fractions. You may check the description box because I will be posting there the separate tutorial video on unchanging mixed number to improper fraction and vice versa. We have to change first 2 and 1 half to improper fraction. That's going to be 2 times 2 plus 1. 2 times 2 is equal to 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. Then copy the denominator which is 2. 
then we have to copy 25 and the division sign. Now we follow the steps in dividing fractions. We copy the dividend. We change the dividend into a fraction by writing 25 over 1 because any whole number has a denominator of 1. Next is to change our divisor to its reciprocal. Instead of writing 5 halves, it's going to be 2 fifths. And change the division sign to multiplication sign. And we're ready. The question now is, is there something that we can cancel? Yes, of course, we have 25 and 5. What number can we divide both 25 and 5? That's 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5. And 5 divided by 5 is 1. Next is to multiply. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 10 divided by 1 is equal to 10. Our answer for this question is 10. And it's so easy. We're done! Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!